Welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create an abstract 3D art in Blender. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with my default cube. I'm going to scale it in the Z axis. I'll do S for scale and hit Z to constrain it to the Z axis. And now scale it to right about here. All right, so I want to scale it in the Y and then X as it a little. So I'll do S for scale, shift Z. To lock it to the Y and X axis. Alright. Nice. So I'm going to do control A. And I'm going to apply my scale. <coughs> After I've played my scale, I'm going to give it I'm going to modifiers. I'm going to add a bevel modifier. Alright. I'm going to decrease the bevel to something like this. I'm going to increase the subdivision to 4. I'll right click and shift smooth. So I'll come to object properties, normals, and auto smooth. Okay. So we have our, our board here. I'll select it and do shift D to duplicate Z and bring it up like this. I'll do S for scale and scale it like this. I'll do control A. Control A and apply scale. All right. So next, do shift A, add another mesh. Now add an icosphere. All right. I'll click on this and decrease my side division to one. Nice. So I'm going to bring it up. G for move and Z. I'm going to bring it up to somewhere here. Okay, so whilst it's selected, I'm going to tap R twice, and then move it, rotate it, something like this. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to add a ring around this icosphere. So to do that, we are going to add a torus object. So we do Shift A, Mesh, Torus, right. So I'm going to decrease my major 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 segments by two. So we'll divide it by two slash two to get twenty four. I'm going to leave my minor segments at twelve. And I'm going to increase my my major radius to somewhere here and decrease my minor radius to right about here. Looks that's nice and simple. So we have this. I'm going to let's do shade smooth and add the subdivision modifier. Set it to two for render and one for level viewport. Let's do G Z and bring it here. Double tap R and rotate it to something like this. Okay. So next. Let's move this this 3D cursor somewhere within the art spot and let's add our spheres. So to do that, we select 3D cursor here. And then we can click anywhere to add our to move our 3D cursor to. So I'm going to click somewhere here. I'll do a shift A mesh and I'll do icosphere A. I'll do UV sphere. I'm going to decrease it to 16, 36, 32 divided by 2, which will give us 16. All right, I'm going to do subdivision surface and shade smooth. So we have this S to scale it a little. So G to bring it somewhere here. Next, we're going to create our capsule. So shift A and come to round cube. But if you don't find this round cube, you have to go to edit, preference, and search for extra, extra, 
extra so we do add cap we will, we will select our add cap and add mesh extra objects after that we do shift a extra object and we add our own cube right so obviously we are looking for, we are looking for a capsule not a cube so we'll come to this operator presets and we select capsule nice so we'll do s for scale and we'll scale it up we we'll scale it like this we we'll add a subdivision surface we'll do a shade smooth right. let's do g and bring it up a little and tap double r to rotate so we are going to rotate it in free form to something like this right we are doing an abstract art so feel free and move the shapes and elements to your liking i'll do shift d to duplicate the ring i want another ring around the capsule so i'll do s for scale i'll do g move it here i'll double tap r rotate it to somewhere here G. nice okay let's do s and scale it up a little bit g and bring it here nice yes, i'll do shift I'll do control a and apply my skill control a and apply my skill as well up next Let's bring this here a little. Shift D, duplicate to this side. And as for scale, let's kill it a little. Let's bring it here. We have our sphere here. Let's G, move it somewhere here. Anywhere in your artboard. To make sure the composition looks good and nice. Okay. So next. Let's select our 3D cursor and click here, somewhere here. Anywhere in our artboard is fine. Shift A, mesh, and let's add a cube, right? Do S for scale and let's scale it a little and Let's do control A to apply our skill. So we want a wireframe effect. So we'll go to modifiers and then we add a wireframe modifier. Let's increase the thickness a little. I'm holding shift to, to increase it in, in, in small quantities. So something like this is fine. Let's do control A, shift A, mesh, shift A, go to mesh and then do V sphere right with our uv sphere selected let's add our subdivision surface and let's shade it smooth let's do s for scale and let's scale it a little just like this let's select these two do a g and move it in our composition like this let's do s and scale it right g let's bring it here something like this it's fine so let's make sure we have a select select box tool selected let's select our cube and double tap r for rotate so we are going to rotate it somewhere here all right okay so we have we have our cube in the, our wireframe cube in the circle so let's continue next we are going to create a cone let's add our cone to the composition to do that i want to use a cylinder to create our cone do shift a mesh and then we go cylinder All right let's divide this by by two to get 16. okay and with our our cylinder selected let's tap into edit mode and add select mode you do alt click and do s for scale we scale it something like this okay yeah so we select we select select the bottom s g for move and z we move it like this we have something like this okay 
so let's add our bevel modifier so let's decrease the amount of the bevel modifier before we add the bevel modifier let's first apply Control a and apply skill and then let's add our bevel modifier after so let's decrease the bevel and let's increase the segment to four and then we come to object data properties and auto smooth all right so we have our nice cone here you can shade smooth if you want i'm going for the rough edged cone like this so i'll tap into edit mode and i want to divide my cone into two so to do that we do ctrl r loop cut and we do control b to bevel this loop cut to get a, another face inside like this once the face selected i'll tap x for delete and then i'll delete face so we have this face here and another face here so let's fill in these two gaps so with our edge select mode i'll hold alt and click on this side i'll come to faces and grid fill all right so let's leave this one to four i'll do the same for here i'll click faces and then grid fill so we filled here and then here nice okay so let's tap out of edit mode double r and let's rotate it to somewhere like something like this g move it somewhere here and double r rotate it somewhere like here g nice and simple okay so last let's add another cylinder as for scale let's scale it and then s for scale again and z to scale it on the z axis g and let's move it somewhere here so that we see what we are doing i'll add my modify i'll add my array mod i'll do shade smooth and add my bevel modifier before i do that let me do control a control a and we do apply skill and let's add our bevel modifier let's decrease the bevel add segments to four let's make the segments four okay come to our object properties normal and auto smooth we have this but with this we're going to do this i'm going to apply two different materials to it one of the two one at the top and bottom and then one at the middle so we have to divide our our pull into three so i'll, I'll tap into edit mode control r for <coughs> cut select control b bevel and i'll do something like this nice sorry so we are done with our modeling next let's do our lighting and shading so i'm going to bring my i'll drag i'll bring my mouse here and drag to add another workspace so we'll use this workspace for the camera and then let me drag here and change this to the shader editor so we we'll use this for our shading this for the camera and then this for extra manipulation and other stuff Let's quickly add a plane, shift A, mesh plane. Uh, you see where the plane is being added. Let's make sure we reset our gather to the, the to the world origin. So let's do X to delete, shift S and then gather to world origin. Now let's add control A plane. Then let's do S to scale our plane. All right, I'm tapping to edit mode. I'll select, I'll select this edge. Make sure my edge select mode is active. Select this edge and do E for extrude. I'll Z to restrict, to constrain it to the Z axis. I'm going to bring it up like this. 
I'll select this edge control B for bevel and I'll scroll my mouse to add more loop cuts something like this I'll do I'll tower out of edit mode and do a shade smooth on, on our plane. Let's do GZ and bring our plane down a little bit. Just like this. Okay. So let's set up our camera. With this, I want a square render. So we are going to do a square render. Let's tap camera. Let's zoom in. A little. And let's come to our, our format. At the edge resolution, I'm going to do 1080. So we have a nice square like this to work with, right? So I'll tap N to bring up this menu, go to view and lock camera to view. After that, I'll scroll here and hide this and then this, and then I'll tap T to hide this tool as well. So we have this camera to work with. I'll do a control S and save. Up, abstract. Okay. And save my file. So I'll tap on viewport shading. I'll do a render view here. And set my render engine to cycles. And device to GPU. Alright. We have something like this. So this light is what's affecting our scene right now. So I'll do X for the lit and do control A shift A. Shift A and then I'll add light, area light, G and then bring it up to this side. Do S and scale it like this let me increase the strength of the light so I'll come here come to light power and let's tap something like thousand watts we have something like this we do shift D to duplicate we are doing a three-point light setup very simple one one light here let's decrease the power to something like 800 and then shift D Duplicate one and bring it here. Let's rotate it to somewhere here. Hold on this yellow point and bring it here. G, let me move it. Right. Okay, so let me bring this light up a bit. And let me set this to 600. Okay, so we have a light set up, right? Later on, we are going to add an HDRI to soften up the shadows and other stuff inside our artwork. So let's quickly set up our textures. I'll select this and new texture. Let's add Veronoi texture. Veronoi. And Shift A, search for color ramp. So we plug our color into the fuck and then pull, plug our color to this color. All right. Let's let's change it to sh smooth shade and let's let's bring this black here. Something like this. Let me change this color a bit somewhere here it's all a matter of preference right this is art so there's no right or wrong way of doing it but i think this is fine for me i'm going to decrease the roughness a bit so i get a rough and shiny surface i'm going to change the name of this material to texture one that's nice i'm going to select this this plane here and I'm going to change the material to texture one as well. Right. I see the, the material is not applying properly. So let's go to edit, preference, and let's enable 
node node wrangler add-on just make sure it's enabled you go to add-ons and know that uh, node wrangler it's a, it's a node wrangler add-on enabled let's click here and do control t that will bring our texture coordinates let's change it from generated to object so you see now it's, it's applying properly you can play around with it and find something that suits you okay let's do this i'm going to give it a blue nice and blue nice blue blue color let's name it to blue and let's select this and apply the same blue material to it right i think i i'll need a little bit of white all right let's select this and add our material our texture one material to it as well okay well, let's select our ring create a new material so we are going to make this metallic and change the color to somewhere around here and decrease the roughness now we have this shiny metal to play around with okay so let's select our our <clears throat> sorry let's select our let's select our capsule and then we do new we click on this principal P P bsdf shader and delete we do shift a go to shaders and we add our glass bsdf or plug the bsdf to surface that we have this glass let's decrease let's increase the roughness a bit and change the color to something like this okay let's decrease the roughness and change the color to something like this i'm going to select this and then i'll give it my gold material let's name it to gold okay now i'm going to select my wireframe and apply the same material as well we have something like this okay i'll do this and i'm going to apply my blue material to it and then i'll jump into edit mode i'll hover my mouse right here and click l to select i'll go to the material stop here and i'll add a new material and I will assign, I will change the material slot to my uh, material 00. Let's quickly, let's quickly change the name of the material to glass. All right. So let's select, let's make sure this, this piece is selected. And then I'll do assign to assign it that glass material. Okay. I'll do the same for this. So tab out of edit mode, select this edit mode. I'll do, I'll make sure it's face select and selected. Alt click plus shift. Alt click, shift click here. And then I'll do Alt shift click. And then I'll do a shift click here to select these sides. So I'll add a new material. I'll select my my gold material and then I'll do assign to assign it to this this part as well. I'll, I'll tap out of edit mode. Do a shift D to duplicate as to scale and R to rotate it in a random position. Let's add another one. Shift D as to scale and double R to rotate it. In another random position okay we have this we are almost done with our 3d scene happiness let's add material to our floor 
new we change our color to something like this. something that suits you actually there's no right or wrong just play around with it and find something that works best for you okay and let's add okay so we made it metallic and we decrease the roughness somewhere here there you have it we have our scene ready for for render let's do quick render settings so we'll go to our, our render properties we come to color management and let's change the look to high presets that's if you want anything that fits you actually i'll go with high contrast and leave it at filmic standard okay so i'll go with high contrast and then standard All right so you have this i want to increase my the, the light strength a bit so something like 1200 that's our scene is well lit let me scale it up and see to bring it closer nice just playing around with our light setup So we have something nice and that suits our style. Let me bring this G here, this ball here, scale it down a little. Right. So to render our scene, I'm going to leave the render settings as default make sure you, you click the noise and then render do render image hello guys so this is the final render make sure you like share and subscribe until next time peace out